Marns, the trade period is just around the corner. What type of players are we looking to bring into the club? Yeah, it is, Benny. It's, um, it's an important time for us every year to make our list, list better. And you know, this year we're going into a uh, trade period you know, with our list, although the latter show we finished 7-8th, we don't think our list needs too much. Um, needs a, a few players to be brought in, but uh, we don't see mass changes within our playing list. And you know, quite clearly we need some, some outside run. Um, so we've got a really good midfield. Um, that have you know, done some terrific things over a period of time, but to add some you know, outside run, you know, particularly around the wing positions, is really a focus for us. Um, and really out of the trade period, that'd be a real goal. Rumours always circulate around this time. Adam Tomlinson's one name that's been thrown around. How interested are you in securing him? Yeah, very interested in, in Adam. Um, he's obviously a free agent uh, this year, and he's been an experienced player. Uh, he's been up at G2S since the start. Uh, he plays a you know, really plays the wing uh, predominantly for them. Uh, he played a, probably a different role this year. He played a wing plus a little bit of ruck. Um, and we've been in conversations with him. We'd like to think we're a, a good chance um, if he decides to, to leave G2S. Um, so that'll play out in the next uh, few days. And Ed Langdon's another one from Fremantle who offers that outside run. Are you quite interested in him as well? Yeah, Ed uh, is another guy that we've, we've targeted through the year. Um, you know, he's uh, indicated to Fremantle that he, that he wants to return to Victoria and again we, we feel quite confident that we've been involved in those conversations um, and you know, we're going into trade period. If it can work out and we can get uh, Ed and both and, and Adam, uh, we think we would have done pretty well. And Jamie Elliott from Collingwood's another name that's been linked to the club, a small forward. Is he a player you'd like to target? Yeah, Jamie's been a player we've been interested in for, for a long period of time. He's obviously had a injury riddled uh, career so far but we saw in the back half of this year you know, what he can do. Um, he's, he's had a very strong club in Collingwood, they've had a lot of success, so you know, the first decision he has to make is if he wants to leave Collingwood Footy Club and if he decides to do that, uh, again he's a free agent and we'd like to be in the conversation there, so you know, it's, uh, it's a fair bit to play out the next, uh, next 10 days. Is that small forward type of role another area that you're looking to fill? Yeah, we think our forward line to have another you know, genuine goal kicker in our forward line, you know, it's a little bit difficult at the moment. with. Our playing list, we didn't quite see our back line at all this year. Uh, we didn't only saw bits and pieces of our forward line, so we've got to be careful about making sure we're making the right decisions. But um, you know, a genuine goal kicker um, like Jamie is, I think every club will be pretty excited by, by that. There's been a fair bit of talk about Sam Frost and his potential departure. Has he uh, requested a trade to Hawthorne? Yeah, so we've been having some conversations with Sam and indicated that you know, we'd have a, a contract there for him, um, but we had, weren't prepared to, to offer one at the time. Um, given that he's 26 years of age, he took the opportunity to have a look around and at this stage indicated that, that Hawthorne have got a contract offer for him. Um, again, we're, we're moving into trade period, so we'll see what plays out there. And he had a pretty strong year, uh, played all 22 games. Could you sort of understand the confusion of the fans as to why we might not offer him a long-term contract? Yeah, I can. Um, I think what Sam did really well, he had a great season this year. He um, finished high up in our best and fairest in our top 10. He played every game. You can understand why there's a bit of confusion of um, you know, why you wouldn't offer a player like that a contract um, earlier. But you know, really what Sam did is he took the, the most of it, made the most of his opportunities. You know, he got opportunities through some, some injuries to our players. Uh, we've invested pretty heavily in our, our key defend, defensive roles in the last few trade periods uh, with Jake Lever, Stephen May, got Oscar McDonald, um, Harrison Petty, uh, Marty Hall have all sort of played those roles through the year. So, yeah, it's, uh, I can understand why, why people are questioning that, but yeah, we make decisions not just off a season of 2019, it's over a long-term um, decisions. And yeah, that's um, if, if Sam's not here next year, that's what we'll be based off. And Billy Stretch and Jay Kennedy-Harris are the other two that remain out of contract. Uh, how do you see their um, next sort of few weeks looking? Yeah, in the same position as Sam and um, probably not unlike about another 50 guys in the AFL right now that uh, they get uh, they're a little bit circumstantial in what happens during trade period. So Jay and Billy have you know, played roles here for us for a, no for a number of years and you know, it's probably dependent on what happens during trade period if, if they'll get offered a contract here. But you know, two great characters and if it's not at Melbourne, you know, we'd hope that they find another home as well. The AFL handed out their conversation to the Suns last week. That uh, pushes our pick to pick number three. Are you disappointed with that result? Oh, you want to be as high up in the draft as, as you can be. Um, but you know, there's reasons why that decision was made um, to, to assist the Gold Coast. And, Oh, we're really excited by the, by the pick we've got. Uh, we haven't had a first round pick now for a number of years. We've traded them out in the last two or three years. So you know, the guys, are, the recruiting team are involved with the combine right now and uh, been interviewing a, a number of players and excited by what we could get um, with pick three. Um, yeah, we'd be open to, to movement around pick three, but um, yeah, we certainly would have to be a pretty um, enticing sort of uh, offer.